Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here for Simon Says Stamp with a card idea using exclusive Simon Says Stamp products. I've created a card by cutting a sheet of Nina paper in half and now I am scoring it at the five and a half mark for a top folding card. The main focal point of my card is the butterfly tendrils and it's a really nicely detailed die. And I've used the die to cut two types of paper. This one is from the Snippets pack by Studio Calico, and there's a really nice neutral paper in here, but here's the pack. And I've also cut another one from Scrap Nina paper. Next, I want to trim down my pattern piece with my butterfly cut out just close to the size that I want it finished. I'll be using a piece of acetate, and right now I want to trim the width to the size that I want it, and this is going to be four and a quarter inch wide. This will help me with my placement of my panel. Now I want to adhere my butterfly panel to the acetate, so I'll just use my tape runner and add it to some of these little small areas here just to get it started, and then I'll add adhesive to the entire piece. Without using any glue, I'm just laying my white butterfly tendrils in place, and now I can put this onto the acetate piece and line it up to where I want it. And once I have this lined up, I can go ahead and press it down onto the acetate. And then I can trim all the edges to where it measures four inches by five and a quarter. With everything trimmed up, now I'll use my Zig two-way glue pen and I'll go ahead and start gluing down the white die cut and I'll just kind of flip these up a little bit and just add a few dots of glue. It will glue onto the acetate. It might take a little bit for it to dry, but it's underneath the layer, so you don't have to worry about getting any glue all over your card. So just go ahead and press those down and just continue on even onto the pieces that are just sitting on the acetate. Next I'll want to do some stamping and I have a message here that says are a wonderful friend and it is from the U 3x4 set from Simon Says Stamp and I'll be using Cup of Joe Midtone ink. I'll go ahead and press my stamp onto the ink pad and when I'm using clear stamps and the Midtone inks I do like to season them a little bit so I'll stamp them a couple times on a scrap piece of paper before I stamp onto my panel especially on a panel like this that I've done a lot of work to already. I want to make sure that I have all the other pieces of paper out of the way and make sure I get lined up really well. Once I feel confident, then I can go ahead and press that down. And I will move my fingers to the center of the block to make sure that I have a really good impression. I want to add some color to the left side that sits under that die cut piece. And this is a green piece from the Snippets collection from Studio Calico, and I do want to add some foam dots to the back of my acetate panel. I will also cut up some small pieces and put them under the leaves on the left side. I have wrapped the panel with twine and also made a double bow just by doing a couple loops back and forth and tying with another piece of twine. And here I'll be securing this with glossy accents, and I like to just put a little bit into the center knot so that it holds everything together and also some onto the card to hold that knot in place so that it doesn't shift around. So once I have those two pieces where I want them, I can go ahead and press this down. I've added my adhesive to the back of this green panel, and this is cut to the same size, or the same height as the butterfly panel. So here I'm just lining it up and pressing it down in place. And now I can grab my butterfly panel and start peeling off the backing of the foam tape. And I do like to do the centers first, and go ahead and line this up. Once I have it lined up, I'll press the center down and then I can remove the outside pieces. To add a little punch of color, I have cut out my word U and also another butterfly tendrils just for a little tiny butterfly to add to my card. And so here is the U. Once I decide on my placement, I can go ahead and use my Zig Pen again and just add a few dots of glue to the back. And I like to add the glue just to the main areas and to the outside edges so it will sit securely. 
So I've added my you, so now it says you are a wonderful friend, and I've added some butterflies and a couple pearls to finish the card off. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on using Simons' stamp exclusive products. Thanks for watching.